Good morning, and welcome to Morning Prayer for Monday of the 11th week in Ordinary Time, June 13th, 2022, in which we celebrate the memorial of Saint Anthony of Padua, priest and doctor. I'm Deacon Dennis Holly from Sacred Heart Catholic Church in Richmond, Virginia. Before we begin, let us take a moment to recognize that we are in God's presence. Let us begin as we begin all our prayers in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden. Our first psalm is Psalm 84, entitled, Longing for God's Temple. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord God of hosts. My soul is longing and yearning, is yearning for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my soul ring out their joy to God, the living God. The sparrow herself finds a home and the swallow a nest for her brood. She lays her young by your altars. Lord of hosts, my King and my God, they are happy who dwell in your house, forever singing your praise. They are happy whose strength is in you in whose hearts are the roads to Zion. As they go through the bitter valley, they make it a place of springs. The autumn rain covers it with blessings. They walk with ever-growing strength. They will see the God of gods in Zion. O Lord God of hosts, hear my prayer. Give ear, O God of Jacob. Turn your eyes, O God, our shield. Look on the face of your anointed. One day within your courts is better than a thousand elsewhere. The threshold of the house of God I prefer to the dwellings of the wicked. For the Lord God is a rampart, a shield. He will give us his favor and glory. The Lord will not refuse any good to those who walk without blame. Lord God of hosts, happy the man who trusts in you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Bless your people, Lord. You have given us the law that we may walk from strength to strength and raise our minds to you from this valley of tears. May we receive the gifts you have gained for us. You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden. Let your light shine before men that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father. Our canticle this morning is taken from Isaiah entitled, The Mountain of the Lord's Dwelling Towers Above Every Mountain. In days to come, the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established as the highest mountain and raised above the hills. All nations shall stream toward it. Many people shall come and say, Come, let us climb the Lord's mountain into the house of the God of Jacob, that he may instruct us in his ways and we may walk in his paths. For from Zion shall go forth instruction and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He shall judge between the nations and impose terms on many peoples. They shall bear, beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. One nation shall not raise the sword against another, nor shall they train for war again. O house of Jacob, come, let us walk in the light of the Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let your light shine before men, that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father. God's word is alive. It strikes to the heart. It pierces more surely than a two-edged sword. Our second psalm is Psalm 96, entitled, The Lord, King, and Judge of the World. O oh, sing a new song to the Lord. Sing to the Lord all the earth. O oh, sing to the Lord, bless his name. Proclaim his help day by day, tell among the nations his glory, and his wonder among wonders among all the peoples. The Lord is great and worthy of praise to be feared above all gods. The gods of the heathens are not. It was the Lord who made the heavens. His are majesty and state and power and splendor in his holy place. Give the Lord, you families of peoples, give the Lord glory and power. Give the Lord the glory of his name. Bring an offering and enter his courts. Worship the Lord in his temple. O earth, tremble before him. Proclaim to the nations God is king. The world he made firm in its place. He will judge the peoples in fairness. Let the heavens rejoice and earth be glad. Let the sea and all within it thunder praise. Let the land and all it bears rejoice. 
All the trees of the wood shout for joy at the presence of the Lord, for he comes. He comes to rule the earth with justice. He will rule the world. He will judge the peoples with his truth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, you have renewed the face of the earth. Your church throughout the world sings you a new song, announcing your wonders to all. Through a virgin, you have brought forth a new birth in our world. Through your miracles, a new power. Through your suffering, a new patience. In your resurrection, a new hope. And in your ascension, a new majesty. God's word is alive. It strikes to the heart. It pierces more surely than a two-edged sword. Our reading this morning is taken from James. Always speak and act as men destined for judgment under the law of freedom. Merciless is the judgment on the man who has not shown mercy, but mercy triumphs over judgment. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Anthony of Padua, doctor and priest. He was born in 1195 and died in 1231. St. Anthony, who was born in Lisbon, first entered religious life as an Augustinian canon in Coimbra. There one day he met a group of visiting Franciscans on their way to Morocco. He was greatly impressed by these courageous missionaries, the more so when news came of their subsequent martyrdom. At once he was inspired to join the Franciscans. In 1221, he attended a great Franciscan gathering, the last held in the lifetime of St. Francis. Afterward, he received a modest assignment to a small hospice for lay brothers at Monte Paolo. But soon his star would shine. When asked to preach at an important occasion, he astonished his audience with the unexpected elegance, conviction, and profound learning of his sermon. Word quickly spread, and Anthony received a letter from Francis himself, authorizing him to preach and to teach the theology to the friars. Eventually, he was sent on a preaching mission that covered all of Italy. Thousands flocked to hear his open-air sermons, and his visits had the impact of a spiritual revival. He attacked the tyranny of the powerful, exhorting his listeners to compassion and charity toward the poor. Anthony died on June 13, 1231, at the age of 36. He was buried in Padua, where he had spent his last years, and his canonization followed only a year later. In 1946, Pope Pius XII declared him a doctor of the church. He is often invoked for help, for his help in finding lost objects. This is a quote from St. Anthony of Padua. A tribute to God every good that you have received. If you take credit for something that does not belong to you, you will be guilty of theft. Our responsory, the just man shall blossom like the lily. He shall flourish forever in the courts of our God. He will be praised by all of God's chosen ones. He shall flourish forever in the courts of our God. Our Canticle of Zechariah. The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed, the smallest of all seeds, yet when full grown, it is the largest of shrubs. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight, all the days of our life. You, my child, should be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. 
to shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed, the smallest of all seeds, yet when full grown, it is the largest of shrubs. The response to our intercessions this morning is, God of love, hear us. Compassionate God, you instilled in Anthony a love for the poor and perfect trust in you. In company with him, we pray, God of love, hear us. Guide our efforts to live the gospel as we study the teachings of Pope Francis. We pray, God of love, hear us. Advance efforts to help the homeless. We pray, God of love, hear us. Help us to protect the land from pollution deforestation, and hazardous waste. We pray, God of love, hear us. For all those caught up in violence, remembering especially the people of Ukraine, that in this time of fear and conflict, they may know God's presence and peace. We pray, God of love, hear us. For a swift end to the COVID-19 pandemic that afflicts our world, that our God and Father will heal the sick, strengthen those who care for them, and help us to persevere in faith. We pray, God of love, hear us. For Sacred Heart Catholic Church, for our priests, deacons, parish ministers, parish staff. For Sacred Heart Center, for all those who donate their time, talent, and treasure to our parish. But especially for all of our parishioners and those of our parishioners who may be either ill or who have passed away. We pray, God of love, hear us. Let us now say the prayer that Jesus taught us to pray to his Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Almighty God, you have given St. Anthony to your people as an outstanding preacher and a ready helper in time of need. With his assistance, may we follow the gospel of Christ and know the help of your grace in every difficulty. Grant this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. May God bless us, deliver us from all evil, and lead us to share in the perfect peace of Christ. Amen. And may the Lord bless us, protect us from all uh, May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Have a wonderful week. Please continue to take care of yourself and each other. And may God be praised.